I'm going to do what I call uh, when I get back in, um, stay in my lane, stay in my zone, stay in my strength, not be distracted by the noise. So that's why you don't see me as commenting as much. So I don't make, and now uh, I, I work better just, you know, just leave me alone. Let me, let me do this. Don't give me too much noise. With that said, <clears throat> I won't be commenting as much for you. I still give thumbs up and all that. But if I, I can't keep chasing all these links, I'll post them. She already did the video. Danny already did this video on CDI's angle. I click it. But more importantly, let's use Maggie. <clears throat> Maggie Martin says uh, in Zone 3, this is the video we're at. I'm going to post her link um, if you want to find it because I'll never be able to find her again. Unless I remember this where she commented on Hot Rock Hotel, full video, different angle. Um, okay, so yeah. She's posting it on that one where I did the, the one view there. I think I'll be able to, if I keep this here, I'll be able to drag the link and put it over here for you guys underneath this video. With the stay in the lane theory, you know, if you guys know any, stay in your lane, stay in your lane. Meaning, uh, for me, it means just stay focused. You know, stay working in your strength, stay in your lane. Take the data, process it, and let it go where it is. You guys are seeing in my head when I do these videos. So you're not seeing my conclusive files, you're seeing just data piling. And it's quite frustrating to, to follow those comments and get trolled. And, and I'm, I'm chasing and commenting behind somebody's already made a conclusive decision when I'm still compiling. During that compiling, I make a lot of mistakes. That is, I add false data to my, to my, um, to my compiling. The thing about it is it, just, it all resolves in the end when I finally make decisions or the statements that I, that I finally like in the end. And yeah, this might come out. Somebody might come forward. With that said, I'd like to suggest this. A $10,000 uh, GoFundMe for anybody who actually want, willing to come forward starting at 10000 In other words, you talk to me. I won't say a word um, a word to anybody and, and, you know, give you my word on it. And give you a, a signed contract that shows I'll pay the 10000 if, uh, you know, I'll be the one on the hook if it gets out from, from my angle. But if you uh, if you come forward and, and tell your details like this, I'm sure I can shop these lawyers that are suing to compensate you for ten thousand dollars for your for your uh, for your loss of employment. I'm sure you're gonna lose your job. But we I would suggest not just ten thousand. We do a GoFundMe, and when a GoFundMe gets past ten thousand, of course the lawyer coming in with the ten first. We'll let it bounce up as high. You know you know we come up with some type of we'll let it move up forward just a little bit or right about there as a threshold. And we, uh, you can come forward with your data. Um, you got to protect your data, though, so it's not just, it's not as simple as that. But come, t come to me, and I'll help you figure out how to protect your data with an attorney involved, and you can do it. So what am I looking at here? That's so important to me is that this whole face fell off, and this face, per design, had had floors connected to it. And how are we looking at an entire floor system? This tall, I don't know if this is four stories right here. No concrete. No concrete came off this side. So it's this outer wall that I keep coming back. My lane, if you will. Stay in my lane. I keep coming back to this outer wall just having no stability. Now, I'm not giving you any secret code talk from my other conversations that I'm having because I'm, I'm not going to do that. Of the, code talk, the code talk videos, I'll probably just try to be clear about it. Telling you somewhere in this video is some code talk um, that I can't disclose. This is not one of them. This is me just throwing at you. So don't don't go down the wrong thing saying, oh, no, he must have meant this. He just did a video after that one. Stop making a leap. It's just piling up data junk that I pile it up, and it means something at the end. And you tile it all, put it all together. You know, guy has a vest on, hard hat, white, red hard hat apparently, yellow. Doesn't mean he's not a supervisor, but this is, you know, your biases you make. So, uh, anyway, it's just data that I'm piling up. This is right after the collapse. Uh, the, uh, the video is narrated stating. Let's play it. Again, I don't see any wall system, any floor system on here. So, is this system sheared down? The floor started shearing down. Um, sharing the sharing down, it was more connected to the right wall, to right the uh, the the, huh. the main structure that's currently there than out here. Now, can I can I can I? So I have to pay devil's advocate against myself, my own debunker. 
Well, if I got a, 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 a bunch of books stacked and I drop one book on top of the other, say the book was here, let, let's use this as the hinge point, this uh, end of the video. I make a book here, come back, come down to the story, make another book. So if this one were to flap over, break right here at the top wall, it would fall down, impacting that one. The kinetic energy would then want to rip this one off, and so on, and so on. So I can get this shearing action with the hinge point in the back side of it. The hinge point in the back side of it. And this is pretty, this elevator, I don't know if it goes, I don't think it goes to the top floor. So the hinge, to, to rip this off, we had some floors, of, I don't think undercutting undercutting of this area would have would have pulled it off let me see, my undercutting thing let me see so I have a book here it breaks it falls down this leaves it unsupported above or does it well no because it has a wall the outer wall connecting it so undercutting doesn't get me this here we still don't know the start we have a, a good general idea of where it's not and we're bouncing around even you know but let's just stay in my lane is what I'm saying I got a video but I'm not going to uh Still not the best video. We do, from the other side, it would be even better. It's still, I'm, I looked at your comments, and it's so many people start saying it started from the fifth floor to the eighth floor. Um, I slowed it down, magnified it. Uh, you can you can make a bias on either direction. You you'd be you know whichever direction you went, you'd be a winner. You just can't you just can't see the clear starting point. Um, let's go. I could not see the clear starting point yet, and I follow people saying. Look at the fifth floor, everything else. I'm going to take it into software, and I'm going to uh, try to change the colors in it. Sometimes it helps me. All right, there's that part, the end, where it just piles up. I, you know, unless we could see in there. It's a ladder. Never saw this ladder before. But we can see that this would tell us who, if anybody's working down there. These the floors are still intact. Up to 14, where... It's down. I even had someone said the uh, this flooring is upside down. Someone stated that. Um, all right, but remember I, the video I just put out where um, where there's you guys, the lawyers who are watching this, you need to find the meetings. You need to find the people in the meetings. You need to figure out how not to ruin their careers because they're going to need money. And then what does it matter, right? What does it matter? Oh, this is the 14 then. That's the hanging. Wait a minute. No, that's 14. Right, this is this floor. This is this floor leaning down. Wow. Um, oh, and there it is here. I think it's this entire span. This column's out here. This is the entire span. Wow, that's that's if that's so. If that's in the same plane, doesn't that look like it's a different bottom than that one? I don't see corrugation here on this at all. I see corrugation over here. Huh. Don't get all crazy on me about, oh, that's it. Don't, we don't want to do that. We just want to take on data. So now this is a note to self. You know, figure out. Or keep in mind, if you can find other videos verifying, another source to verify that the corner corrugation exists. I'm also trying to think of the, the camera. Could it be overexposed, underexposed? Could I create this by, by that? It's just depth appears to be in plane, but can I separate it and come up with another reason why it looks that way and it really not, is not connected? And, and again, smoothness of it. Up here also, apparently, here's, here's the corrugation. Here's not. All right, so that's by the pool deck. You'd, I'd have to look at that. And I think the pool deck does have some different configuration. Here's a support. Apparently not. Um, the uh, not. Th no, this is this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, this is that hanging piece of metal that I looked at in another video. 10-foot ceiling or so, 10-6. They're like 10-6, 10-2. These floors change heights. One is 10-2, then 10-6, and 10 10, 2, 10, 6, and something else. But there are multiple floor heights. None of these flights, uh, none of them are consistent all the way up. I guess they are. The width, the width of them, but they're 10, 2, 10, 6, whatever. Here's the, uh, apparently, this is the pool supporting system here. And the pool didn't, didn't take any movement. Um, that's fire retardant throwing that at a plum in, in, visual, in visual eye, I think. There's a fire retardant pump. Let's move it. There's a block system going on. Um, okay. Hold on a second. I guess somebody's watching my videos. I got, I'm going to terminate in a second. Got to make a phone call. Um, 
uh, let me say something. Let me, uh, let me pause the video for a second. This is just, I'm doing this, getting somebody to give me data. Yeah, it takes a second. My brain's frozen. Okay, let's just continue on. Um, scuppers for, uh, for water to come through, that's what I'm, I feel like they are. I did not track it down to that point exactly, so you can relax. This is, uh, so there's a, the concrete still attached there. Now, somebody talked about the concrete and how it was, but no, I saw the, uh, they put metal there so it doesn't, concrete doesn't go down and escape up. Sorry about that. That's, that's what I, I'll tell you what my bias is already. I wanted, it looks like she, steel that just sheared away. That was the direction of the steel, and then we got shearing in it. The bias of that is I'm looking for something to prove soft metal that I got my inside uh, steel people keep telling me about this soft metal that I keep, that I need to get focused on this metal. Um, I'm, I'm trying. I need more data. They need to do some damn testing. That was their feeling of this metal. And it came from Spain. We did a video on that. Well, this floor is already complete. Oh, they did do different systems, yep. Of securing the plates and all. Shear plates they make up. Um, could be the other side, right? One side, the other side. Shear, shear elevator. I don't know that detail. You guys can get all upset all you want, you know. I just tell you to go to hell. I'm talking about the engineers that watch it, trying to say you didn't, you know, whatever. You know what? Is that your job? That's your goal. You got the wrong channel. Just move it on. Go over to the channel and uh, you find your plans and do that detail, and then give me a video response to that exact detail, and allow me then to say to you, well, how do you know that was installed that way? You know, I, you know, don't. Don't be so childish. All right, there's this list. It's showing pretty, if this is plumb, that's kicked out pretty good. What always concerned me about when you use a crane to pull this out, that it's not going to be able to pull it out square, so you probably have to use two cranes to keep this square as you're trying to lift out because it might want to pull. Well, you'd have to keep the pins in, but it might have so much friction, but you could always, um, I guess, cut it out, you know, and bring it down with the torch because of the angle. As it's trying to pull up the pins, want to um, uh, bind inside the tubes. But I always thought, hell, then you just cut it. You know, don't even bother breaking, breaking the pins out. Just damn cut the damn thing. Um, and you don't have to be so polite to cut it where you're going to put it back together. You can be down here cutting it. It's like a tree climber. They can anchor off to the building with multiple zip lines across. Zip lines across where they fall, they fall basically on a zip line. Um, back to a zip line and back to the street, literally. I mean, really, I know it's a 200 foot downward zip line, but you can go down 200 and you come back up. You know, I, I did that in my brain real fast. Okay, you know, the securities guys working on the crane, zip line it. Zip line them, let them work on it. If the crane starts going, whoosh, zip line they go, away from the away from the, uh, the collapse. But it would be a flexural moment anyway. It's not gonna be a pop and break away from these cranes as we saw. You gotta blow them to get them away. Um, let's uh, let's keep it moving. It was just crazy. The zip line thing is just is not not solid. It's just something in my head. Um, I gotta get back to this message again. Hold on. Okay, so back to this video that she's sharing. Let me just let it play. Um, I just pause now and then we uh, freeze like that. You guys can freeze behind me and grab the data. They had the outside shoring, shoring air points for the uh, cantilevers and some of each one. And um, there's your unsupported spans. There is, oh, so this is where they were stockpiling. And that's totally different than, than I thought it was. It appears that it could be under some really good supported area, the stockpiling materials. I think this is the roof deck um, that we're looking at, but just, nope, maybe. It might be the roof deck. I don't know if it ties back to there or not. I think it's the roof, I think it's the roof deck, but look at the uh, span there. And then now we have the spans coming. 
you know, supported here and here. They're getting a little, lot more close over here. And this one, too. And we've got an open span. Hugely open, hugely open span. I mean, how are they going to install the ceilings in these places, uh, you know, for the living quarters? All drop ceiling or what? That looks like a change of direction. It's fair game. I'm just saying it looks like the spacing gets tighter even. Come on over. I'm be done in a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, that's it. Um, what do you want seconds? All right, guys. I'm going to give you this video and enjoy it to the best you can. Let's let it run through a little bit. So I'll see the concrete. So I have those books falling over. And back to the uh, transfer slab. There it is there. They're supposed to, uh, you know... 16 had a transfer slab in it, and now it doesn't, apparently. This is 14. That's not a transfer slab. That's block work for the pool area, I believe. What's, what's the point of this video, though? You know, we don't, we don't know how, what. what yeah, I'm moving on. I mean, what, what's the point? They're not, they're not coming forward. No one's coming forward. Bastards. You guys are, are keeping your mouth shut. People die, and you don't care. I mean, I, wow, I thought, you guys, you, you know, no offense to my Bostonians, but these people are acting like Louisiana, they act like they belong in Boston. Boston's the one don't don't call the cops or tell on anybody. Hell, the cops don't tell on anybody down here. What can you say? You know, the cops don't do the job down here at all, not even one. There's not one honest cop in the whole damn Louisiana or what? Question mark. 